Hey everyone, so we're gonna take a look here at another related rates example using a comb. Um, this time though, we're gonna solve for dr dt. So let's look at this problem here. It says a cone is 10 inches across and 20 inches deep. It is being filled with water at a rate of 40 cubic inches per second. How fast is the radius changing when the radius is four inches? All right, let's draw out the picture here first and see what this would look like. All right. So I have my cone, it said it was 10 inches across, and it said it was 20 inches deep there. Okay, so that tells me that the diameter is 10 and the height is 20, which if the diameter is 10, that tells me that the radius is five, it's half the diameter. Okay, um, now let's write down what we know here. It's being filled at a rate of 40 cubic inches per second. Okay, well you use cubic inches for volume. So it, since it's uh, cubic inches per second, that's our dv dt here. So that's gonna be 40 cubic inches per second. We are looking for how fast is the radius changing? Okay, so we wanna know what dr dt is, that's our goal. And we wanna know when the radius is four inches. So when r equals four, so this is what we're trying to find here. All right, well, we know the volume formula of a cone is one third pi r squared h. Now, with all our information that's highlighted in here, you see we have the radius, dr dt, and dv dt. We do not have h at all or dh dt. So we want to eliminate the h from our problem here. All right, so we need to come up with a relationship between h and r. Okay, well, the relationship between R and H, we said R was five and we said H was 20. So I'm gonna set up this equation here and I'm gonna go ahead and cross multiply. So five times H would equal 20 times R. All right, but again, I wanna get rid of H. So I need to know what H equals. So I'm gonna simply divide this by five on both sides so that we get H is equal to four times R. Now I'm going to take that and I'm going to substitute that right into my equation here. So we're going to have volume equals one third pi r squared times h, which we just said is 4r. Okay, so if I simplify this problem then, we get that the volume is four thirds pi r cubed. All right, so now we can go ahead and start to solve this problem out by taking the derivative. Okay, so I'm just gonna move this to the right over here. So if I take the derivative of this, we get dv dt, that's gonna equal, um, we have here four pi r squared dr dt. Okay, so that's just the derivative here. And uh, now we're gonna fill in what we know. Well, dv dt we said was 40. This would be four pi, and now we care about when the radius was four, so I'm gonna fill in four squared, and then dr dt is what we're trying to solve for. So let's go ahead and try to solve for dr dt, okay? Well, if I do this out here, 40 equals four squared would be 16, 16 times four would be 64 pi, dr dt. And then to get dr dt by itself, we simply divide by 64 pi. And then we're just gonna go ahead and simplify this down. So if I divide everything by eight, that'd be five over eight pi equals dr dt. And then since our everything was in inches and seconds here, we know we should put the units in there. So let's put, that would be inches per second equals dr dt. And that'd be our answer here. All right, so I hope this helps. If you have any other questions or any other requests for videos, uh, please leave them in the comments below.